how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel guys today i am really excited because i have the all new oneplus 13s which is one of the most anticipated compact device from oneplus and this phone not only feels amazing to hold thanks to its premium build and compact size but it also comes with the powerful snapdragon 8 elite processor a massive 5800 mAh battery and it also has some exclusive features like the plus key and mind space along with some useful AI features such as AI voice cry, AI editor, AI call assistant and many more. Since this phone is running the latest Oxygen S15, you get plenty of amazing features and customizations built in and I'll be showing you all the incredible features that will help you get the most out of your brand new OnePlus 13S. Guys, it's gonna be a super useful video for not only the 13S users, but even if you've got the other OnePlus phones like the OnePlus 13 or 13R, then stay tuned and watch this video until the very end. Also, let's aim for at least 1500 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let me show you some exclusive features that are only available on the 13S and you won't find them on any other OnePlus phone right now. First things first, we've got this all new plus key instead of the iconic alert slider which we used to get on OnePlus phones. But this thing can do a lot more useful stuff. Now in order to configure the plus key, all you need to do is just head over to your phone settings. Here if you scroll down, you get this all new plus key option. When you go inside, you will be greeted with this beautiful interface which is obviously inspired by the iOS but I still love the way how they implemented this with some nice animations. Here you can configure and assign the plus key to change the ringer mode, open the camera, toggle the flashlight, start voice recordings or take screenshots. But what's even more interesting here is you can configure the plus key to activate Mindspace which basically recognize what's on your phone screen and add it as a memory. Let me quickly show you how this thing actually works. With just a simple press, it instantly recognizes your phone screen, takes the screenshot and add it to the Mindspace with a detailed AI summary. So if it's a conversation that has some event or meeting info, Mindspace will understand the context and create a calendar entry for you. Similarly, it works on articles or a music track or any of your ideas can be organized automatically with a quick summary. Then you can easily access them inside the Mindspace app whenever you want to. I think it's a pretty useful AI feature that can organize all your stuff and keep them in one place. OnePlus 13S also comes with this brand new phone dialer app that has some useful AI features built in. When you are in a call with someone, you get this all new AI call assistant which lets you translate calls in real time. So you can speak with anyone around the world in your language and it automatically translate in real time. But what's even more exciting here is this AI voice scribe that can help you record, summarize or translate calls within third party apps like WhatsApp, Telegram and more. So let's say I'm in a WhatsApp call, I can record the entire conversation or have it completely transcribed and even summarize it as well. The best part is now you can translate your WhatsApp calls with this amazing AI feature. Another useful AI feature can be found inside the gallery app. When editing pictures, if you select AI editor, here we get a bunch of useful tools like AI eraser, AI unblur, AI detail boost. But what's new here is this option called AI Recompose. What it basically does is it recompose your photo and provides you with the best angle possible for that picture with the help of AI. It even suggests filters that can enhance your images. Then there are other tools like AI Eraser that helps you to remove any unwanted objects from the picture. AI Unblur will help you to enhance any blurry picture. Then the AI Reflections will remove any reflections from your pictures. And AI Detail Boost will increase the resolution and image clarity with sharp details using AI. This device also supports the circle to search feature so you can just long press on the navigation bar to quickly search anything directly from Google. You can circle on an object or image you want to search for and it instantly provides all the information related to that specific item. Now when you are reading an article or browsing the web, you can swipe down with your three fingers and not only does it take screenshots but here you will see this useful option called extract text. And when you tap on it, it allows you to extract anything from that particular page. You can copy the text or image and save it inside the file doc which you can later access whenever you want. The file doc comes in really handy to temporarily store anything on your phone. If you are using the smart sidebar on your phone, then you get a couple of interesting AI features. 
So just go to accessibility and convenience, scroll down and make sure the smart sidebar is turned on. Once done, now when you are reading an article or web pages, simply swipe from the edges and here you get AI summary and AI speak. You can use the AI speak feature to read out the entire content that is present on your screen. So when you don't have enough time to read anything on the web, you can use this feature. There is also an option to choose between the male or female audio and you can also increase the speed for your convenience. Then we have the AI summary which summarizes the entire web page or content present on the screen. There is an option to copy, share or save the summary directly to your phone. Not only this, when using messaging apps on your phone, you also get this AI writing feature which will help you to check your grammar mistakes. You can also compose anything by just typing a few words and it even allows you to rewrite in different tones. So you get some useful tools that will surely enhance your typing experience. OnePlus has made a lot of changes to the lock screen and added many customization features. If you go into settings, then wallpaper and style, we get this brand new interface with a bunch of beautiful looking themes for your lock screen. We've got classic, sleek, pulse, light and shadow, composition and many more to choose from. Depending on your mood, you can choose whatever you like and then we have the option to change the clock style, customize the color, adjust the size, you can also add blur and some cool effects to the lock screen and there is an option to enable or disable the depth effect as well. You can also use any of these cool looking fonts that are already present here. Honestly, you get some beautiful customization features that will surely take your lock screen to the next level. And the best part is that if you are using the always on display on your phone, then you get this beautiful animation that just looks absolutely stunning. Every time when you unlock your phone, you're gonna appreciate this little transition that looks really really good. Now when I open the quick settings, you can see this black and white accent which is present all across the interface. And even when I go to the settings page, we get this black and white accent that resembles the old OxygenOS design language. In order to get this look, go into wallpaper and style, select colors and here you need to click on this option called two-tone. This will give you that old OxygenOS vibe and it looks really really good. There are also a couple of new icon packs with OxygenOS 15. If you select icons, here you can see two new options. The first one is called Radiance and this pack looks very similar to the default icons but it just has that slight gradient look which makes the icon pop on your home screen. Then we have something called Shadows which is actually the darker version and basically it adds a dark background to all your icons. Other than this, you can also apply any third party icon packs from the Play Store without installing any kind of launcher on your phone. Next, let me show you how to unlock and get these beautiful looking widgets on your home screen. If you long press and then go to widgets, you won't find these good looking widgets here. In order to get them, all you need to do is simply go to the app drawer and drag the clock icon to the home screen. Then simply press and hold the icon and tap on pin. This way you get access to some exclusive OnePlus widgets. You can do this for clock, weather, notes and even for the recorder application. Next we have this feature called live alerts which is heavily inspired by the dynamic island that is present on iPhones. All you need to do is go to accessibility and convenience and then select live alerts. You will see the list of apps that are supported. Now let's say you set a timer on your phone and minimize the clock application. It goes straight into the punch hole and converts that into the dynamic island. It also works when playing music on Spotify. You can track your order from Swaggy or Zomato as well. The best part is unlike the dynamic island, here you can see applications in expanded view and you can easily control multiple apps at the same time. This feature works really well with some smooth animations. Did you know the quickest way to launch your favorite apps and shortcuts is by using the fingerprint scanner. If I touch and hold the fingerprint scanner even after my phone gets unlocked, I get this pop-up menu where I can launch my favorite apps and shortcuts. To activate this feature, go into the phone settings, select accessibility and convenience. Here enable this option called quick launch. You can choose your favorite apps and shortcuts that you want to access using the fingerprint. Next, you can also increase the display resolution by going into your phone settings, select display and brightness, scroll all the way down and here change the resolution from standard to high. Since it has a huge battery inside, you can definitely keep the highest possible resolution for your display. Similarly, when you go inside screen refresh rate, it is set to auto by default, but you can change that to high for even better and smooth animations. Then if you go inside app specific refresh rate, you can configure and set the refresh rate for each app individually. 
Next, when you long press and go to home screen settings, here if you scroll down, we have something called as icon pull down gesture. And when you enable this, what it does is when you swipe upward from the right or left side of your screen, it will pull down the app icons which are located at the top and without lifting your finger, you can continue swiping to an icon and then release it to open that specific app right away. This way you can easily access any app with just one hand. Another setting you need to enable is the double tap to wake or lock your screen. So you don't have to press the power button every time. You can also change the swipe on home screen option from shelf to notification drawer and there is an option called show search at the bottom which will add a search button to quickly search your contacts, files or anything on your phone directly from the home screen. Next, let me show you some useful camera tricks. When you want to click pictures, you don't have to look for the shutter button. Instead, you can tap anywhere on the screen and it captures instantly. To enable this feature, go to camera settings, scroll down and then select shooting methods. Simply enable tap to capture and show palm. Now just show your palm to take selfies and tap anywhere to take pictures. Another setting you need to change is the volume button action. If it is set to shutter, change it to zoom and now you can zoom in and zoom out using the volume buttons. You can also turn on the quick launch toggle so you can quickly open the camera by double tapping the side key. You can record up to 4K 60 frames videos on this phone and you get all the manual controls to adjust the ISO, white balance and shutter speed. You can take some high quality pictures and record some stunning videos on the smartphone. That's pretty much it for this video. These are some useful tips, tricks and hidden features that will help you get the most out of your brand new OnePlus 13s. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I'll see you guys in the next one.